What's up YouTube, this is your boy Shining Fireheart and today we have the Yu-Gi-Oh! Lacey of the Duelist Link Evolution game for the Nintendo Switch guys. This is, I had this pre-order guys, I had, this was delivered a couple days ago, uh, days ago. So, um, yeah. As you guys can see, I've already opened it, the, I've already undone the packet, the wrappings, because no one I don't want to try to fight through it on the camera and it does come with three exclusive cards for us and I will do a video tutorial or video walkthrough of this game if you guys want because I do love doing games like this based on our the Yu-Gi-Oh history all the way up to Link Reigns of course this will probably update itself throughout the Link Reigns series so that'll be fun at least I'll learn how to Link Summon <laughs> better and understand the and understand how to Link Summon better alright so like I said I've already gotten the game out oh. I haven't really started playing very thoroughly guys So I'm going to just do the tutorials for you guys, or not the tutorial, the walkthrough. I keep saying tutorials, but anyways, let's go ahead and open up this little pack here and get out three cards, three knocks on a door. So we have Prog Leo. Sorry, guys. Prog Leo. Two monsters except tokens. Uh, during your main phase, if you control this Link Summon card, you can banish this card and one of your monsters. This card points to then target one Link monster in either grave in either graveyard. Special summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use this effect of Prog Leo once per turn. So that's pretty cool. All right, then we have Micro Coder. I believe this is supposed to be our secret ultra rare. And here, according to what the dad, according to what online says, this is actually supposed to be the the secret rare of this. Uh, if a Cyberus monster you control would be dis would be used to link at <laughs> would be used as link material for a code for a code talker monster basically any of them this card in your hand also can also be used as material if this card is sent from your hand sent from the hand or field to the graveyard as materials for the link summon of a code talker monster you can either add one sign it spell trap card from your deck to your hand or if this card is on the field on the field was used as material you can add one little four cyrus monster monster instead you can only use each effect of micro coder once per turn. Yeah, you're supposed to get two secret rare, secret rares and then one ultra secret rare. So we have Cyanet Codex. Codex. If a code talker monster is monster or monster is a special summon from the extra deck to the field, except during the damage step. You can target one of those monsters, add one Cyrus monster with the same attribute from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck for the rest of this turn, except Cyrus monsters. Even if this card leaves the field, you can you cannot add other monsters with that same attribute to your hand by the effect of Cyanet Codec. This turn, you can only use the effect of Cyanet Codec once per turn, once per chain, I should say. So, there you have it, guys. There's our three exclusive cards that you get with the game. I will do the game tutorial. I keep saying tutorial. The game walkthrough for all the, for the entire game, guys, because I know people out there love, for those who love Yu-Gi-Oh!, you all want to see that. And it will also be a way to start up my gaming channel 
for both because I've already pre-ordered guys my Pokemon Sword and Shield game for for when it comes out guys so I got the so I got the double bundle so that'll be awesome when it arrives maybe I'll do a a game walkthrough for that and I can't wait to see it and also guys I just got I was just got a chance to see the Berlin championships for 2019 uh, Yugi versus Kaiba again. That was a fun duel to watch, guys. If you have not seen it, go check out 2019's legendary, uh, the 2019 League Championship uh, live duel, Yugi versus Kaiba. There are some good cards that they use in there, a lot of good strategies. And... For all you original fans who loved Yami Yugi and Seto Kaiba and Yugi Moto and all them, who are like me, loves the original. Still gotta find the Kaiba. Kaiba! Sorry, Simply Unlucky, but I had to do that once because, guys, Simply Unlucky, I've, got, I've, I've seen his channel. He's a great guy. He's actually opened up his courage card shop I haven't gotten and I'm still trying to work hard to, to set up mine so but yeah I saw him his video of him actually at the live tournament of the Berlin watching the actual live duel and I can't believe that he really recorded it but I'm also happy he did so check out Simply Unlucky guys. He's got, he does a lot of great things, and I know he's a great a great uh, card opener. Unlike me, I'm still trying to get the hang of this, trying to say the right names. But I hope you guys will at least stick around for when I do the game tutorials. I hope you guys recommend recommend uh, my channel to other people so they could subscribe and hit that bell icon. Share these videos with your friends. Tell them to subscribe, guys, because I need. Because for all the Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there, I know y'all exist. Yes, I do Pokemon and all that, but my main thing is Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. I'm a duelist through and through. Also, guys, I do want to say this. Thank you so much for all the people that have left comments down below. Blue Velocity, thank you for commenting down below. I need to give you a shout out for what you for commenting down on one of my videos, my Rising Rampage video. I also found out that the two cards from <laughs> Rising Rampage, who, which I thought were prismatic rares, were not. They were just secret ultra rares. But I'm still happy I got them. I'm I'm also looking forward to the legendary duelists that will be coming coming out this year. All the villain cards. Yuri. Uh, I'm trying to think here. All the well, they aren't really bad guys, they're just the the people that like Merrick, uh who else? Uh, oh no, wait, not Merrick. Uh, what's his name? Oh, I drawing a blank, guys. Uh, Bakura. Bakura. Sorry, guys. I could not think of the name. And yet he's one of my all-time favorite characters because, you know, the freaking on and off again, freaking changing how his personality was always fun for me because. It, you never know whether he was trying, whether it was the good Bakura talking or the bad Bakura talking, because he had a straight face all the time sometimes and kept in, keeping his act up as the bad Bakura and good Bakura. But I still, but still, Yami Yugi was number one in my in my place, guys. I also found out that I'm gonna get the actual pop figures for the Ruby. 
Ruby characters here pretty, probably pretty soon guys so these two will probably just disappear but anyways guys thank you guys again so much and also be sure be sure to check out uh, Simply Unlucky guys if you ever get a chance he's opening his card shop down in South I believe South Dakota it is uh, I forget I believe so no way that's someone else sorry but anyways guys Check out Simply Unlucky's channel. Check out his card shop. If you ever get a chance, go see him in the opening night. His card shop's opening night, which is probably in a couple days. I or probably tomorrow, I think it is. If you get a chance, go ahead, check him out. And thank you, Simply Unlucky, for, well, for basically being there in Berlin for that championship. I could not afford to make it, which sucked. But I will try hard to get there when the next year comes up, guys. I'm going to go to the 2020 championships and hopefully be able to see a good duel happen there between some, some of the greatest iconic characters I've known in my childhood. As always guys, I want to send off with a simple and easy way to go, and that is, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, be sure to live it up. Bye guys.